All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is Officer's Actions Lead to Serious Backlash. Uh, coming from the channel Code Blue Cam. All right, let's see what it takes. On guys. November 23rd, 2021, Officer Matthew Knutson conducted a traffic Knutson. stop on a vehicle after it failed to give way to another motorist in Green Bay, Wisconsin. The driver, later identified as 47-year-old Robert Sanchez, allegedly pulled out into an intersection and nearly caused an accident. As okay. Robert observed Officer Knutson turn around, he quickly pulled into a driveway and fled on foot. Wow. All right. Drop it. We're on dock. Richmond Invader. Truck. Bravo Charles, 1193. Get back to the car! Another officer nearby ordered him to stop, but he was non-compliant and continued fleeing. Okay. Get on the ground! Sir, get on the ground! Get on the ground! Not listening to my commands, he's on Manitowoc by a house. Sir, get on the ground! Get on the ground! He's just walking around in the yard, won't listen to my commands, has his hands in his pockets. Sir! Take your hands out of your pockets! Get your hands out of your pockets! Where's my next unit? I need one here in Manitowoc and Bader. Sir, get your... Run your cell phone Bader again! Get on the ground! Pockets. Get on the ground, sir. Bro, just stop. Just Brand stop. Imperial. Not a breath. Despite bro. being commanded to show his hand several times, he refused, and the officer deployed her taser. However, it had no effect. He's wearing a coat. Taser, taser, taser. Oh. As Robert kept running, Officer okay. Knutson drove his squad car over the curb and hit Robert with it, forcing him to the ground. Ooh. Okay. Get on the ground. Okay. Put your arms behind your back. Put your arms behind your back. Okay, I think I understand what the, the serious backlash came from. It's going to be from that very specific moment. I get it. He's running. 47-year-old man. He's running very slowly, I might say. Did you have to, you know, touch him with the vehicle? I don't know. Right? But let's see where this takes us. Tasers didn't work. I get that. His hands are in his pockets. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I just had I one can't breathe. Here. I had nobody. I can't breathe. I kept reaching. Yeah. In his jacket pocket. Oh. I can't breathe. What's your name? Robert Why'd you run? I'm scared. You're scared of what? I'm scared. Gosh. Okay, got your breath. Yeah, one of these instances where people are like, oh, I can't breathe. No, bro, he, I'm not sure he can actually breathe. All right. I mean, I hear him. He, he's he's speaking. Normally, I'd be like, I don't know. You're talking. If you're talking, you can you can breathe. But he sounds like he's having an asthma attack. I'm telling you. Injured. Okay. I know, I know. A little bit. Push slight. You to the ground. You're not injured. I know. I know. Got your breath. What's your name? Robert Sanchez. Robert Sanchez. Yeah. Almost 11 months later, the Brown County District Attorney's Office contacted the Green Bay Police Department regarding Officer Knutson's actions that night. The body cam and squad car video of the incident were immediately reviewed alongside Officer Knutson's police report. While examining the report, it revealed inconsistencies in his explanation of how his squad car came into contact with Robert during the pursuit. Okay. Following the assessment of the footage, Officer Knutson was placed on paid administrative leave. And the
paid administratively. So a, a paid vacation. The Green Bay police chief requested an investigation to be conducted by the sheriff's office. Approximately okay. six months passed, and the DA's office officially filed a criminal complaint against Officer Knudsen. Guys, I smelt that. As soon as I saw it, I was just like, oh, bro, I'm not sure you can do that, right? Like, at all. Like, he's not in another vehicle. Like, I get it. The pit maneuver. All of you can't pit maneuver a human, bro. You know what I mean? The police chief made a public statement saying, we take all allegations of misconduct by Green Bay police officers seriously. I will not tolerate excessive force, ethical violations, or criminal activity by GBPD members. As of right now, this I never heard of this guy, but obviously he seems like a really good police chief. In Officer Knudsen's report, he stated, I started to pull my vehicle up on the western side of the driveway Okay. In order to get my vehicle out of the roadway due to the other vehicles already on the road, the criminal complaint emphasized that statement, saying, You will find in his report that he describes him hitting Robert with his squad car at the last second and other vehicles being in the road. The squad camera tells a different story. There is no other vehicle in the roadway in front of Officer Knudsen's right to left and headed towards a driveway. The district attorney further explained, there was no need for Officer Knutson to drive on the grass as there was no other vehicle in the driveway at that time. Additionally, he mentioned the officers on scene seemed to be amused by Robert's situation. He mentioned the timestamp of the occurrence, saying, after placing Robert in the rear of the squad car, Knutson can be seen mimicking Robert hobbling after being struck to the laughter of the other officers on scene. It was also discovered that the use of force sheets submitted by Knutson did not mention him striking Robert with his squad car. The district attorney said Knutson gave a further indication that he meant to imply he had struck Robert accidentally. That was, Without, I'm, Berta, that was not an accident. We saw that. that, that wasn't an accident. The use of force sheet and some of the video recordings being disclosed, it is hard to determine how reliable these statements are. However, very. this wasn't the first time Officer Knutson was investigated for his conduct. In 2018, Officer Knutson was one of nine other officers that were suspended because of a harassment investigation. Okay. A report of the internal investigation stated there was a pattern of harassment by a small group of night shift officers. Some officers who were interviewed during the investigation described the night shift atmosphere like a frat house. The report further showed a female officer was the victim of hazing and harassment. She reportedly was so stressed out that she had to take off work to avoid harassment. Okay. Officer Matthew Knudsen, the 13-year veteran of the Green Bay Police buddy. Department, was charged with felony misconduct in public office and misdemeanor negligent operation of a vehicle. Robert was charged with misdemeanor counts of resisting, obstructing an officer, and operating while revoked. On the prosecutor's okay. motion, both charges were dismissed shortly before the DA. Yeah, bro, of course. There was no way they were going to charge him with these things. Even though, bro, if you're driving with a revoked license, I... charge that man. He did run from the police. Charge that man. But I get it. They're trying to save kind of face here because they absolutely hit that man with that car, bro. DA's office informed the police department. But he should have still been charged. Knudsen's conduct. At this time, Knudsen's investigation is still underway. Head over to Code... Guys, that is exactly how you lose your qualified immunity, bro. That's how you do it. That. <laughs> okay. Make it blatant. And obviously be in a police department that actually cares about the, the rule of law, not just, you know, frat parties and things like that. I guess, apparently. Uh, this police chief was actually absolutely great. He was great. Um, he passed it over to the sheriff so the sheriff could look into it, not... They didn't really keep it internal. It's a good thing. Um, they did everything right. Every single thing was done right here, guys. Um, but I, I smelt it. As soon as I saw when he when he, uh, when he he touched him with the car, I kind of knew that it had to be that was the reason why the, the backlash came. All right. Um, but all right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day uh, thoroughly. Thoroughly.